Now, your news on the go. We start with tough news from the Fulton community. 16-year-old Brady Nyber has died from injuries he suffered in the same crash that killed his 17-year-old girlfriend, Riley Bartlett. Since the crash just over a week ago, the Fulton community had been praying for Brady to pull through. The crisis response team at the high school will be available for students and staff throughout the day. In Tully, crews are on the scene of a house fire. The call coming in right around 3 this morning for a fire on Long Road near Song Mountain. We're told no one was home and there are no injuries. Right now, crews are working to put out hot spots. In Oneida County, investigators are trying to figure out what caused this fire at Donna's Cafe in Rome. It ripped through, destroying most of the building. The cafe is closed on Mondays, so no one is believed to have been inside. Police are putting parents on alert about a sextortion case. The Van Buren man accused of hacking into middle schooler Snapchat account stealing naked photos and using them as threats and police believe there may be more victims the images involves kids between 10 and 14 at Pine Grove Middle School in the ESM district the man accused 24 year old Louis Fratangelo jr. is out on bond facing several charges the wild carp classic starts today for the next 76 hours around 100 anglers will take their spots along the banks of the Seneca River and around Onondaga Lake. They're competing for $40,000 in payouts. The competition runs until Saturday. Ludacris is rolling out to the state fair. The rapper and Fast and Furious star will take the suburban park stage on Thursday, August 31st at 8.